we all want a bit, little bit of tension, don't we, Vernon? Just purely at home for entertainment value. Let's be honest, gang. I think it's coming tonight. I think it's gonna <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, good. We need to talk about I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of here, Vernon. I take it you've been watching. How's your buddy Chris getting on? I mm. think he's doing all right. I mean, he's not hes not in the limelight, which is great. He's not in the shadows, which is fantastic. hes I think he's got the balance perfect because mm. I thought... It was a real important moment for him when Mike was belting out the tunes when he did Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Vanilla Ice because we know what Chris is like. Chris knows basically every song from the 70s onwards, word for word. Yeah. And I thought he played that really cool because mm. that was Mike's moment. I think Chris realised it was Mike's moment. You could see Chris itching on the bench to get involved. But he just thought, you know what? Now is not the time. <laughs> I thought he played that brilliantly. Boredom must be a huge problem in there because you're in there all day. Eventually, do you start wanting to do the odd trial just to get out of the camp? I, I feel like I would. Yeah, you do. Once the food one has gone out the way, then you're... I mean, I unfortunately did the food one, but mm. once the food one has gone, you're like, yeah, whatever, bring it on. Because the other ones are quite... It's like being in an adult wacky warehouse. You know, <laughs> apart, there's no Sunday roast. But you've got the ball pit, you've got the climbing frame, and they don't do things by halves, as we saw last night with Baba Tunde. Uh, so you really want to get involved. And then when it comes to that moment in the show where they start asking people to volunteer to do trials, it's interesting watching who sits back and who puts themselves forward. Because mm. in our camp, we all wanted to do a trial. And I'd done two, and I was like, right, I am tapping out. You got can debate whether you want to do one or not, but I'm not. But I think Chris... I got really worried with the one with Christian Walsh. I, I thought he, 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 he struggled there. Me was, too. Really? Yeah, I, I got really panicky watch. watching that. Yeah, we got really panicky watching it. Tess mm. and I were like, oh my God, it, like, that's not good. Because mm. it was only... Anyway, we all saw it. But uh, I think I think he'll get... I think he'll get a little bit itchy and I think he'll want to do more trials because at the moment, I'm sure you've discussed it this morning. I apologise, I wasn't listening on the drive-in. But I, at the moment, the... The preparation of the meals is a real kind of bottleneck yeah. Yeah. for this celebrity. You know that it's going to kick off because of food. And Every I think, year it causes tension, doesn't it? Yeah, because people, like we had, there was a moment where I was, I admittedly was encouraging Giovanna to cook things in a different way. Do it like this, do it like that. So I think if it's a friendly camp, I think that people might just go, do you know what? You have a go tonight. Let's see what you can cook up and just share the chores. Um, and it's interesting how boy George is backed off when it comes to cooking. You know, he's quite contradictory last night when he's saying, I, I don't want to do anything because I don't want to get in your way. But if you want me to do something, then that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He kept going, I'm sick of being told what to do. And then he was going, just tell me what to do. All right. It was, I was very confused. Secretly, though, we all want a bit, little bit of tension, don't we, Vernon? Just purely at home for entertainment value. Let's be honest, gang. I think it's coming tonight. I think it's gonna <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. And oh, goodness. That leads us seamlessly into the next question I had to ask you. So, Matt Hancock and Sean Walsh, but let's be honest, the headline here is Matt Hancock it is. is entering the jungle. Now, we genuinely don't think that Chris and the rest of the campmates have any idea that he's going in because they're in isolation. So, I mean, how do you play that, Vernon? Because Matt Hancock is not a universally popular man, I think it's fair to say, in the UK. But also, you've got to live alongside him in the camp for the next week or so, no matter what. So, you know, you may have your preconceived notions of Matt Hancock, but you've also got to try and get along for the sake of the camp. How on earth do you play that? Well, I think I think it's how you are as a person. Do you know what I mean? I think you've got to put your own... You're right, Toby. You're there, possibly, if all goes well, for three weeks. Mm. For three weeks in the company of your campmates. And I think... Initially, it's going to be uh, a hearty handshake or a pat on the back and then let everything settle. And you know for a fact that someone's going to say, yeah, I'm at COVID. What went on there then? Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? And then then let it progress. Let's let that conversation come out naturally. And then when that conversation comes out, I think everyone's going to go in. Especially boy George, he's not going to hold anything. <laughs> oh <back>. yeah, For, <laughs> absolutely. You know, MPs they 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 hide in the House of Commons and they do their Prime Minister's question every week. But finally, we're going to see an MP grilled by boy George. It's about yeah. time boy George was asking the big political absolutely questions we've right. all wanted to ask all yeah. this time, isn't it? Uh, well, one... well, let's not forget. Look at the demeanour of Mike Tyndall. He's dead calm, dead cool. You know, he, he's uh, he's kind of pushed the boy for masculinity. 
You know, he just grabbed that spider off the wall last night. Mm. And Kyle's and, and Mike's relationship will develop. And I think Babatunde will be the middleman for everyone in there. Yeah. Uh, but when it kicks off, I'm, I'm like, honestly, I'm laughing inside. I can't wait. <laughs> it's a tag, <laughs> neither can I. I'm going to be self-hugging the entire time. Radio. The Chris Moyle Show.